So in the last video, we talked about depositional coastlining, and we talked about the formation of things like bay mouths, lagoons, bays, through spits and barrier islands, all because of the longshore current dragging sediments from somewhere else into lagoons and, and creating these structures. We've also talked about the origin of, of a lot of these sedimentations is usually from river deltas, which are, are hitting, or glacial deposition, uh, which are hitting the waters. But there's also another way which cre of creating a coastline, which is called the erosional coastline, and what, that's what this video is going to be about. Now, this actually happens in three main stages. On the initial stage, you have a shoreline that's very nearly formed continental shelf, and that's going to be cut by waves and create uh, wave cut notches and things like that. And then as the waves cut through the, the shoreline, it may, uh, they, they create a wave cut cliff. All right, it's the, it's the end. It basically, they carve the, the, uh, the rock, which is before it's a steady rock, and it will form into a cliff. Uh, and it may leave behind some resistant rock stacks, which resisted most of the erosion. And we'll talk about those things as well. Meanwhile, areas which were more susceptible to erosion, on the contrary, will become sea caves. Uh, we also, at the late stage, has the formation of wave cut platforms, which are basically what's left of the cut cliffs, because the cliff line used to be uh, here. Remember, the wave line used to be the, the cliff line used to be here, but as the waves cut away, it leaves behind a platform underneath the water. And at, at the late stage, this platform actually looks more like a flat beach. And a beach actually forms by deposition of this sand that gathered here into the ocean. And so that's kind of how, how it happens. And that's how beaches form. And that's how the continent, by the way, goes from having that flat continental slope destructive thing into little by little being wave cut into cliff deeper and deeper until you actually get something that looks like a steady steep of the continental shelf. Uh, and so that's kind of how uh, this all forms, and let's talk about uh, each of these stages now. Now, this is what you would see on the initial stage when you have those wave cut notches, and you can see that the, the hard rock cliffs will actually resist erosion, and because they're so hard, they tend, they tend not to collapse until it gets very last minute. There might be some landslides, uh, which are created when they actually so much, as the cliff retracts so much, some of the material will landslide eventually. But originally the cliff face is much deeper than it is. But as the tide uh, and waves attack the water, and it can actually attack much deep, much higher than they actually seem because of the spray and how much they actually hit it, it will actually cut through the rock and little by little more and more of the cliff is gets destroyed, leaving behind that platform that we talked about just, just now. Now, whenever there's areas within the cliff that are actually uh, uh, weaker than areas above the cliff, it actually may cut into the cliff and caught, cause an arch to form. And there was a beautiful structures that form in beaches like this. And so we'll talk about this next. Now, uh, this will be a little more like stage two, when you also have you have already have those wave cut terraces or cliffs, and the waves are doing their job and working through those cliffs and creating new notches. And basically carving through the through the line, creating a platform that's left behind. You can see the platform forming here uh, on that area right there. And then at late on the stages, you start seeing the, the position of sediments along the lines of the cliff and a, a, subset, a, a subsequent formation of actual beach lines. All right, and that's kind of the process that it, that it happens and. Or as you head more towards the intermediate stage and into the late stage of this. Now, going back to the intermediate stage, you will see things like uh, wave cut terraces, like I showed you just now. In addition to that, you see the headlands. By the way, headlands are like areas of resistant rock that don't erode as fast as other areas. You see how over here the, 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 the shoreline is receding, but here the shoreline is resisting. What this is going to create is an area of shallow water here and deeper water there. And the, the water is actually going to try harder on this because it's going to cut the way. We talked about this on the previous video. Waves will tend to concentrate on the headland and actually disperse in here, which means the waves here are typically weaker than the waves in the headland area. 
But even though, even then, the headland still uh, tends to resist because it's made of hard, hard, harder rock material. And you see another headland right there. And you see how there's more deposition actually happening uh, along the, the beaches on this side. And you can actually see how the color actually changed the water because of all the deposition that's happening on the, sh on the deeper water there as well, away from the platform and of, of the headland. All right, so another feature of this inter inter between the initial and intermediate stage are arches. And like I told you, arches are built because certain areas of cliffs or, or of a headland might be less sturdy than others. So this used to be headlands which were solid-like, but the rock in those areas was not as sturdy as rock in other areas, and then you end up getting these patched cliffs uh, out there in the open. It's beautiful. If I, uh, it's a beautiful example of wave erosion. Now, a variation of these cliffs is something that we actually call stacks. Now, stacks is when the actual uh, cliff is uh, is carved uh, all together or separated all together, or when uh, instead of forming a cliff, you form an isolated section. Of headland so this used to be a headland but it got cut in half uh, and a really strong piece of headland that got left behind forming a stack and you see that all these beautiful sea stacks and and how they are still resisting because of they're made of tougher rock material than the material that's around it now eventually the stacks will be eroded but not in, but by then the beach is already going to be looking completely different uh, because the material is much much harder now the opposite of stacks is when you have uh, areas where the material is actually weaker than the surrounding area, which allows them to carve into it. Now, that's pretty much what happens with an arch. But if the arch is, uh, if the water is, if it's weak enough, it will go deep enough into the actual cliff site to form such a deep notch that, by definition, you end up getting something that looks like a cave. And this is what we call sea caves, and they are not a beautiful example of wave erosion at its best. All right. Now, on late stages of the formation of the shoreline, those headlands are deeply eroded, all right? And you could get something like the seed stacks, uh, like I just told you about. So this is the representation of what we talked about. And the new sea level is actually higher than the old sea level because now it's actually, by the way, all of this happens because the sea level is rising. So more of the land is now exposed to erosion processes. So as the sea level rises, it actually causes the cutting of land. So that's kind of the whole, the whole point of what I'm trying to say here. Wave erosion is caused by raising of sea level uh, of sea levels. Now, it will create the cliffs and and towards the late stage, you, you will basically get to the arches, the caves, the stacks. So, by the way, smaller steps are called stumps. And remember, the headlands usually are more resistant than the other material which can actually can create the formation of a beach where the water is going to be deeper than the water right in front of the headland and the, and the waves are going to be slower and they're actually going to be carrying deposition material to form a beach here. So whatever is getting eroded off the headland ends up being picked up and thrown into beach. And that's kind of how it forms. Um, and I showed you this feature here because uh, back in the day they used to hang pirates from these sea arches. It's very, it was very scary. But as, as, as big ships came towards the, towards the, towards the uh, shoreline, they used to see the hung pirates. And so there used to be a uh, used to, cool thing. And by, by the way, so if the, cave is, if, if the sea cave is deep enough, if deep enough, you become a sea cave. If not, you just stay with an arch. So, and it all started as a wave cut notch, right? And that's actually happening to the sea stack as well. And that's the base here where the waves no longer are eroding because they're too deep. The water level is too deep. Now, notice something else that's interesting, this terrace. This here looks like a stack. This looks like a cliff notch. And this looks like a, a, a um, thing. What's happening here? Well, this is an indication of what used to be the shoreline. So hold on a second. Are you trying to say that the water was all the way up here? Well, yes. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the water level went down. It might actually mean that the whole floor was raised up. And that's a geological process that we call uplift. And sometimes it will cause this, what seems to be this little stepwise uh, shoreline uh, set up on sea cliffs. Um, and you see this depicted very, very coolly here, when you can actually have those steps because of that. But remember that these steps 
as the waves cut through them, tend to destabilize and form landslides, which actually give more material for the waves to actually create the, the beach along the side of the cliff. And the, remember the platform that's built steadily or so until eventually you get something that looks like a, slow sli a, a slow, steady slope beach. Now, here's an example of how a platform looks during low tide or after an uplift event when it was ra raised beyond the shoreline. You can actually see the cuts that the, the, the waves did on the rock and how it's tried to, tried to carve the, the, the surface of the, of the rock. And you can actually see the area of the, of the of cliff recession, which is basically the platform has been cut by the cliff and how much of the cliff has been destroyed by the ocean, ocean motion. And now maybe it's been uplifted and now you're starting the process from scratch over here. And that's how you end up with those steps we saw in the previous example. Now when you get towards the late stage, it actually starts looking more like a real beach like this and eventually it actually turns into a beach as this platform becomes full with deposition of sand and actually causes a steep uh, little by little the formation of this so how do you actually get to that sand formation uh, how do you get cliff side line to the formation of the familial beaches that you're you're so um, um, uh, familiar with let's talk about that on the next video beach formation